Hi, this is Jim. I'm going to do a review of my Terramite. Um, I'm doing it because I wish there was a review like this when I bought it. So I'll know the troubles and the pros and cons of buying it. Um, this is a T5C. It's a 1996. Um, here it is taken out. The double root tree. You know, this thing's pretty massive. Um, and the Terramite itself, I like it because I could throw on spare car tires or truck tires. Right now I got on a, um, 31 inches like the high flotation tires. But you know, you could pick up some spare rims and tires at used tire shops and you could throw them on and uh, throw chains on them or whatever. You don't really have to spend a lot of money on these big old thick $700 tires that want to sell you because they're easily available. On this one, um, the crowd piston went the other day. It's funny because the top rod you know the silver part bent at a 90 degree for some reason I don't know why so I called Terramite and they wanted 400 some odd bucks for their pistons but this is a chief one it has a thicker rod it's an inch and a half as opposed to the inch and a quarter which they're supposed to have um, the only drawback was the uh, port sizes were SAE 8 which means they're the o-ring connectors so you gotta buy adapters o-ring new uh, pipe and reduce it down a quarter inch but anyway that piston works real good so uh, check out the chief brand if you're looking for replacement crowds it's about one inch off which means um, the teeth of the bucket when it comes all the way in they could scrape the bottom of the arm so you got to be careful but uh, you know you save a couple hundred by going that route anyway when I got this Terramite there's a 96 you know um, I didn't check everything out because I was an amateur and of course the engine went and uh, a month or two after I got it so note for the future always check the air filter if you're buying anything used if there's oil in the air filter um, inquire about the engine or think about that part because uh, it turns out to be a disaster now this one had the Briggs and Stratton 18 horsepower V twin in it when I got it but I had to pull it out and I tried rebuilding it but it wasn't really worth the effort so I bought the $1,600 Kohler 25 horsepower engine um, and I installed it myself now in the engine itself um, it drives off the flywheel side Let's see if I get in there and show you a little bit so you have to have an adapter made at a welding shop you know to change that engine out it's painted in neck but anyway that got done wired it in there and then it fired back up so uh, in the front here this is a piston I bought off eBay um, I have the old piston, the old cylinder in the garage. The cap here just blew off and some of the seals have kind of chewed up. So I'll probably have to repack it, reseal it if I want to use it again. So I picked this one up on eBay for 150 bucks while it was going. You know, it's too big for this. I had to grind down um, the connectors. I had to grind them like an eighth of an inch and squeeze it in there. But you know what? It works. And the motion's good. The size is almost right. It is a Terramite piston, but... Um, I had it and I needed to fix it real fast, so eventually I'll fix that one up, but right now it's not a necessity. But anyway, that's the old Terramite. As you can see, though, um, it could definitely pull out some big roots. You hear reviews about how much they stink and they're better off um, using a shovel and whatnot. Whoever's saying that's obviously uh, out of their bird, you know. But you try to pull that out with a shovel, you know. There's no way. That thing's over my head. Um, there's a big root here. And I got a couple more to pull out, but I got piles of them that I pulled out with this thing. Uh, some of them on the side of hilltops. Uh, and I got some piles over there that I got to work with. Anyway, so I hope anyone who's interested in a Terramite sees the advantages. The advantages are you could find engines. You could buy an engine and replace anything pretty much. Unless it's one of the real old ones where the engine's welded in the bottom. Uh, tires are easy to work with cylinders are snap to pop in you just you know pop the hose off uh, Pop out the pins and pop new ones in you know, it's really easy Engine replacement wasn't even bad for an amateur who never even put in an engine in before you know, I never changed an engine in nothing, but uh I was able to throw in a 25 horsepower one and have it like um, uh, Custom work to fit this thing so if I could do it, I would say anyone with basic mechanical knowledge would be able to, you know, deal with engines and such. So really, if you're looking for a good toy for your backyard, if you see one of these things,
it's gonna get the job done you know it gets everything done it just might take you hours and hours to dig the root out instead of pulling it out you know like you gotta dig and dig and dig and make the hole big but uh that's pretty much it so i hope this video helps some people and um if there's any questions i'll try to answer what i can thanks